Welcome to the IMC Studio tutorial. In this session, I would like to show you how to use the IMC Studio trigger function. Setting up a triggered event is a function that can provide many practical uses, one of which, as we shall demonstrate in this tutorial, is to automatically begin a measurement when a threshold reaches a certain level. For this demonstration, we once again have our standard IMC measurement device connected to our PC and we will be using standard thermocouples to provide the signals. So let's get started. On the setup plugin, then under devices, you can see that we have already selected our desired device. Under analog channels, we have already configured the proper channel and now we are going to create a triggered event. To begin, click on the trigger tab. An easy example of creating a trigger is to have the measurement begin when a specific value, for example, a signal, becomes greater than a certain level. Under Sources and Events, by clicking on the plus sign, we can choose our analog channel temperature. Next, after clicking on Positive Slope, for the event type, we choose Level. For Event, we choose signal greater than level. For event threshold, we will set it to 30 degrees. Under targets, begin actions, end actions, pre-trigger, we again click on the plus sign. Then under analog inputs, we select the box next to our temperature channel. By making this selection, we are triggering the measurement to begin when the signal, in this case, our temperature measurement, is higher than 30 degrees. Next we click on the download button to save our settings. Now we can switch over to the panel plugin. On the panel page, we have already placed our temperature channel in a standard curve window. Now we can start the measurement. As you can see, although we have already started the measurement, it is not displayed in the curve window because the temperature measurement is not yet over 30 degrees. After a short while, however, you can see that the temperature has now exceeded 30 degrees and the measurement is now being displayed in the curve window. Perhaps, however, you would like to be able to see the measurement data before the trigger begins. For this circumstance, IMC provides the option to utilize a monitor channel. For this, we will stop our measurement and go back to the setup plugin to change the appropriate settings. Under analog channels, you will find channel type, monitor, analog inputs. These channels stand in direct relation to our already established analog channels. After selecting the channel related to our temperature channel, we will rename it to mon underscore temperature. We change the status from passive to active and the sampling rate from 100 Hz to 5 Hz. Because this is only a monitoring channel, the sampling rate doesn't need to be as high. Now we will again click on the download button to save our settings. Next we return to the panel plugin. Here in the data browser, under current measurement, then under monitor analog inputs, we can find our monitor channel. Now, using drag and drop, we can position this channel onto the bottom of our graph and we will then be able to view both channels simultaneously. Now we can once again start the measurement. As you can see, after starting the measurement, the monitor channel is already running. But because the temperature is not yet over 30 degrees, our temperature channel is not yet displayed in the curve window. However, once the temperature climbs above 30 degrees, our measurement is triggered and the reading will appear in the upper window. That's all for today's tutorial. Thanks for your attention and stay tuned for the next IMC Studio tutorial.